them before, and that is we're going to actually premiere two pieces of music for you tonight. I'm um, deviating from the program, and I beg your forgiveness for doing, for doing that. Uh, the next piece we're going to play uh, has never been played in public. Now, it has been played by several bands in the state, but not in public. And what I mean by that is the commission by uh, the Virginia Band and Orchestra Directors Association has the site rating for the assessment, the band assessments this year. So any high school or middle school band that, that went to band assessment at the grade four level read this piece of music. But when it was read, it was read in a band room or a choir room with just the band and the director and one, one judge, one adjudicator. So it's never been performed in public before, although it's been performed probably 15 or 20 times within the last month by a universal group of public. Uh, here. So uh, we're going to go, I, I was kind of inspired by the steel, but the steel broke me. We're going to be marvelous. Yeah. 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 It took me a Latin mood, a Spanish mood. So we're going to go south of the border for you here, and we're going to premiere uh, a little thing called Yes to Del Sol. It'll, it'll be published uh, this coming summer by Neil Jones' company. Uh, but they are changing the title because they, it, it, they already had a piece in their catalog called Fiesta de Del Sol. So I had to come up with eight or ten additional titles and send them to the editor, and he landed uh, on uh, Fiesta de la Play, is what it's going to be called. So I don't yeah, know if you Hope you enjoy it. But for now, we're going to call it Fiesta del Sol. If that's the title I gave it to it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, actually, I, I, I 
address. I wanted to talk about something else first before we did that. Um, I also, I had one of the directors come up to me this afternoon and say, thank you for all your hard work. And I thought about that for a minute and I thought, you know, I'm not really the one that did the hard work. <laughs> all of these directors that work with these young ladies and gentlemen day after day, and they start them from the beginning and teach them how to open the case and which end of the instrument to blow in. That, that's, that's the hard work. It is real easy for me to come in here and just wave my arms around. And this magic happens. You know, I had a parent come up to me at the end of one of these types of events a few months ago and said, Mr. Bacon, that was just magic. And I did the normal thing, thank you very much. And so on. But in the back of my mind, in my mind, I was thinking, you know what? Magic doesn't really have anything to do with it. I call it hard work. And the people that are doing that hard work that create this magic are the band directors that work with these young ladies and gentlemen each and every day. So I would like to recognize all of the middle school directors that have students participate in this event this weekend. I want to give them I am very impressed by that. For a school board member to come out here on a 